within any business data must often adhere to certain restrictions or rules let us take our book and author example unless a book is written by an author the book virtually does not exist at least a one to one relationship is a must as you can see in the example either entity book refers to author entity to look up the author information or vice versa this in relational data model is termed as referencing this is very crucial for establishing data integrity between two relations in a relational database we can have multiple referencing and not necessarily be limited to just one to one relationship take a look at the relational model representation in erd form we have several entities like author book and borrower etc also note author id book id and borrower id carry a special icon that features a that features a key such attributes are termed as primary keys observe the entities at the lower portion of this erd some attributes as have fk mentioned next to them in brackets these are termed as foreign keys notice these entities are part of the relationship set between the entities that are above them all of them have a one to many relationship established between them primary key of a relational table uniquely identifies each record in the table foreign key is a set of columns referring to a primary key of another table uh, before moving on to the relational model constraints let us learn two more terminologies that are often used in a relational model a table containing a primary key that is related to at least one foreign key is known as a parent table in our example author entity is the parent table book is also a parent table a table containing one or more foreign keys is known as dependent table in this diagram author list has two foreign keys that refer to different parent tables back to constraints these help implement the business rules we have the following constraints defined in a relational database model entity integrity constraint referential integrity constraint semantic integrity constraint domain constraint null constraint and check constraint let us learn these in detail in the following slides to identify each tuple in a relation the relation must have a primary key the primary key is a unique value that identifies each row this is the entity integrity constraint generally the terms primary key constraint and unique constraints are used to implement these constraints indexes are used which will be covered in detail in later presentations entity integrity constraint says that no attribute participating in the primary key of a relation is allowed to accept null values for explanation purpose i shall take the example of the relation author we have already seen in our previous presentations as you know author id is the primary key of this relation author now this key identifies each tuple in the relation suppose i say author id a1 it points to the author rol chung from toronto what if i replace the value a1 with null we can still identify the author rol chung what if i replace a4 also with null now 
which null would identify which row? Isn't that difficult? Hence, this constraint, entity integrity constraint, emphasizes on having no null values for the attributes playing the primary key role. Referential integrity constraint defines relationships between tables and ensures that these relationships remain valid. As mentioned in the very beginning of this presentation, for a book to exist, it has to be written by an author. Else, there is no meaning for just a book to exist all by itself. Triggers in relational databases help implement this referential integrity constraint. Semantic integrity constraint. For this, let us see another example in the author relation. If the column city contains some junk value like this instead of Toronto, does it give any meaning to the column name city? A semantic integrity constraint refers to the correctness of the meaning of the data. A domain constraint specifies the permissible values for a given attribute. Let us take the example of country attribute in our relation author. We know that this particular attribute must contain two lettered country codes such as CA for Canada, IN for India, etc. Supposing a value of 34 is entered for the country, does it make any sense? No, right? Of course, unless there is another table which maps country codes and letters to that of numbers. But we do not want to induce redundancy either. Null constraints specify that attribute values cannot be null. Let us see what happens if in the author relation a null value for either last name or first name attributes is entered. It poses difficulty in identifying the right author just in case either the last name or first name is same. This means an author must have a last name and a first name and not a null value. Check constraints enforce domain integrity by limiting the values that are accepted by a column. Author relation does not have a suitable attribute wherein the check constraint can be explained easily. So I'll take the example of book relation here. The year attribute is the year in which a particular book is published. Would it be meaningful to have a year greater than the current year 2010? 